Microbiome research is rapidly seen as being the next field and the most exciting field within biological research and medical research now. This is the first course of its type in the world that we know of, providing both the microbiology background, the bioinformatics background and the systems biology background. I think it's a really, really good opportunity. If this MSc had been available before I'd started my PhD, I definitely would have taken it because it would have really been useful for me. You can go into it from any background, be it biology or maths or computational. I'm a biologist and I always wanted to do computational studies, so computation is relatively new to me, but I'm finding it invigorating. I'm learning so many programming languages, which isn't setting me back at all. Don't worry if you've just got a computational background, don't have a biology background. When you start this course, everyone starts off with a level playing field. Microbiome in health and disease is predominantly trying to fill a current gap in the market, and it's enabling us to look at the sum total of the microbes that live either in us or on us and having a look to see how they impact within health and how they impact within disease. But also to have a look at how we analyse them and the computational methods that are used to analyse and integrate data and to model what's going on so that we can then make predictions for new therapeutics, for new treatments and also make predictions about what's involved in disease and what's not involved in disease. The sort of skill sets that people are going to come out with in terms of modelling, in terms of computational analysis, in terms of managing large data sets and networks is highly attractive to a wide variety of different industries. In academia they really want bioinformaticians in their labs, in microbiology as well as other subjects and also in industry they're really desperately looking for people with computational skills. I think at the moment there's one in ten computational jobs that are filled, so there's nine in ten that need to be filled at the moment, so you're definitely going to be employable. 